Hello. Today I'm going to cover how to create a sign-in sheet in Microsoft Word. And I'm going to get fancy with it because I'm going to make it so if we go from portrait to landscape, it automatically resizes. We're going to add a column. We're also going to number it. So let's go ahead and get started. Word is running. Insert tab, tables. I want to record on my sign-in sheet name, phone number, and email. So obviously I need three columns. And I'm going to put in four rows. You can always add additional rows. Name, tab, phone, email. Perfect. I want to put another column in here because I want to actually have numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 running down the left. I'm right below name. Table tools, design. And table tools, layout. I'm on the layout tab. Insert to the left. Perfect. I'm going to leave the first one empty. I'm going to highlight the second one down. Home tab. Paragraph group. Numbering. So there are my numbers. This first column is actually too wide now. You can either manually pull it in here, or you can also use table tools layout. Width. I'm hitting the down arrow to pull that back to the left. I still don't care for the numbers. I don't care for that period. So I'm going to just right click one of the numbers that selected them all. Home tab. It's off the screen, but at the bottom it says define new number format. That one had a period after it. I just backspace through it, hit OK, and now it's gone. One last thing I want these numbers more to the left. Right click. That's called Adjust List Indents. It's telling you that it's 0 0.25. 0 0.5 works. Follow a number with a tab character. I want you to change this to nothing. Click OK. You don't have to do that step. To me, it just, it just looks cleaner. And I'm going to go back to Layout and pull that width in a little bit more. There we go. Now, you're saying, Chris, you only have room for three people. I'm on the last line. I'm just going to hold down the tab key. I'm not letting it go. That works. Now i got 13. I'm going to select the table. Layout. Auto fit. There's an option that says auto fit to window. I'm going to click it. So now it fits from left to right. And watch this. I'm in portrait. Let's go to the Layout tab at the top, and let's go to Landscape. And because we had Table Tools Layout Auto Fit running, it automatically changes. Let's go back one more time. So it is working. I'm going to leave it as Landscape. Now, this is, this is actually a pet peeve I have. Whenever I have to sign something, not type it, but print, or write something. I need some space and they never give you enough space. So let's select the table. Layout. I'm going to use the height box. And in case you're wondering, you just, I just, I'm just eyeing it. That looks good right there. And one last thing. Let's highlight this and make it bold. Still using table tools layout. I'm going to align center. There we go. And I'm going to highlight this column, and it's align center left. And then the last thing to show you, and we'll be done, when I go to page two, let's just add a few more. I'm still tabbing, by the way. So now I've got room for 17 people. Page two, the header row is not showing up on page two. Click anywhere in that top row, which is called the header row. Table Tools Layout, Repeat, Header, Rows. Go down. Perfect. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a good Friday.